Well, this year at MBAA, we're going to be unveiling our new Oasis standby display. And we're really excited about this. We've been in development now for quite some time. We're getting very close to certification toward the end of this year. Some of the unique features of this, it is separated this display box from the sensor box. And this allows us to provide two displays at the cost of very small upgrade cost to get two displays as opposed to trying to buy two complete sensor packages. It also allows the operator to install the product with only less than three inches penetration into the panel, which makes it really applicable anywhere on the panel that they have space for it. The pedigree of Aerosonic is standby instrumentation, measuring air data, going all the way through our probe and sensor devices, all the way back to our altimeters and airspeed indicators. They really do all these, these same functions. It's just this is the new state-of-the-art way to do it. The process that we go through is, first of all, just having that pedigree and knowing what the customers are looking for. But starting out with what we call a marketing requirements document that kind of just documents everything that we're finding out when we talk to engineers, OEMs, certainly pilots, and what do they like? They drive a lot of the decisions that we make here. And then going through the whole process of development through engineering certifications, very long and drawn out and expensive process. We're excited to be where we are right now in that process, which is a little bit on the exhale. We're going for full TSO, of course. This is not an experimental product at all. It's going through all the DO160 environmental testing. This product has already been through most of that. And we're very, very proud that because of the attention paid to the design, and the construction of this that we went through all of those tests pretty much the first time. That's unusual in this business. Usually you go through the testing to find the weakest link and then you go back and you keep going. That's an expensive process, it's lengthy, um, but we, we really have had a, a good experience so far with this and we're, we're right at the doorstep. Aerosonic has been building instrumentation since 1953 right here in Clearwater, Florida. And we started with mechanical devices where you're taking a very complex mechanical device that's got some three, four hundred parts in it. Through the movement of an eighth of an inch in a diaphragm, you're going to take a 601 gear pass and spin this pointer around the dial. Very craftsman oriented and the build cycle was long and tedious and we still build probably as many of that kind of product as any company in the world. But our next step was to take that same presentation and bring the uh, high resolution transducers into driving that pointer instead of this complicated gear train. And we did that on our digital altimeter that you'd find flying on all the Mustangs that are out there. A great, great product, but it is one indication per instrument. So the next evolution, of course, is the Oasis that gives you all three of those in a very compact package. You're saving a lot of space. Each one of the other instruments, of course, is probably six inches long, two inches around, you know, you can see how much space, how much weight that's going to take. Every one of those instruments is at least a pound and a half or so. This is less than three pounds total, including the sensor box, and takes up far less space and is much more convenient to put in. So, yeah, the progression from mechanical to digital to displays has been a very natural one for us, and I think we're very good at it. Interestingly enough, the biggest interest that we've had in the launching of this has been in the helicopter market. Can't tell you exactly why, that just seems to be where most of them have come back to us. We did go through helicopter profile vibration for, for our qualification of it. So I think you're going to see a combination of things. We're looking to have some of our distributors put these out into the general aviation market. They're going to be programmable for their VMO lines and so forth right on the keypad. Certainly we're looking at, you know, light piston, turboprop type aircraft and we'll, we're taking notes right now. Uh, from companies on higher end aircraft as to what we would need to do to move into that market also for the next generation of the Oasis. But I think you're looking at turboprops, pistons, and helicopters at this point. What we're going to introduce here is going to be the most capable, the most versatile, and the most affordable standby display system that you can get anywhere. The basic unit with one display in the ASUs is going to be introduced at around $12,000. When you compare that to some of our better altimeters, better airspeeds, and the typical attitude indicator that's out there, that's far less. You'd spend that much on two out of those three instruments, much less the third. When you look at our ability to drive two displays with one sensor box, that's a huge savings. If somebody wants to have the, you know, the, the standby display over the co-pilot and the pilot's you know, direct vision, it's really not a big 
you know, step up to do that with this product. If you were to do that with some of the competing products, you're going to have to pay for it in whole new AHARs and all your air data sensors and, and everything uh, that drives all the cost in this product, really. We've been in development for about a year and a half, and like I say, we are looking at right toward the end of this year being certified. The biggest thing that we ran into was when we decided to separate the sensor box from the display because of the available space behind the, it's kind of, it's kind of the instrument of last resort, and it's also the one that's the last one sort of designed in, it seems like, because, you know, the big decision is what major panels are we putting in there, and as you know, they're getting bigger and bigger. And that means the space available on the panel is less and less, and the space behind it is less and less. So um, I think the biggest thing that we got was um, the, the screen itself being viewable from different angles and not washing out. Uh, you can see that what you've seen since you've been here, that you can't wash this screen out. You can walk all around it, and you're going to be able to see it and read it. It's an extremely uh, high-quality screen that we've got on here. Avidyne is the brand of choice for pilots who want innovative, easy-to-use avionics. And the new IFD540 GPS Navcom sets a new standard for simplicity in communication and LPV navigation. As a slide-in replacement for existing 530 series navigators, and with a highly intuitive touchscreen control, the IFD540 makes it much easier to access the information you want when you want it, reducing head downtime and making flying more enjoyable. Finally, you have a choice, and the choice is easy. Avidyne.